So when there is a thought in your head that I would better quit all this than to persist here blaming myself, do not ever yield. When the discouraging thought of quitting comes to one's mind, it is a very good idea to actively resist it. When it looks like it is over, get through it. When you believe something negative about yourself and others say, you cannot. Ask them who they are. Who do they think they are anyway? When you're told you won't make it, don't listen to them. Don't allow their words to rule you. You have to go hard at it. Never, I mean never give up. Carry on as before. Remain objective. Giving up means loss. Once one accepts defeat, it is impossible to win anymore. Just get out of bed every morning and make sure that you are there. Happiness is a choice, even when everything gets chaotic. But even in both cases, you can choose how you want to think. Many of us being nearsighted about their own limitations get stuck with the matters and begin to think that situation has no way out. But wait, there is always a solution or as the saying goes, where there is a will, there is a way. In life, we are given two options, either make peace with what is or do something to bring about that peace. Many people do not want to accept the burden of responsibility when making things right. They're still miserable focusing on their woe over and over and over again and do nothing about it. No, that's not the path. Now one has to take responsibility for one's life. You have gotten yourself into a situation, you will also get yourself out of it. And you will get out. Do not play the victim. Say this to yourself, I can't be stopped. I will not be brought down by this situation. No one has or ever will achieve anything of great magnitude without going through pain and basic deprivation and remaining resolute despite many problems and tribulations. It is true, if you have a purpose, the purpose will be realized as long as you make it happen. Time and proper effort are the essence. People want things now, dot, 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 success, recognition, and so on. And it is not how it goes. It is obvious, but it is not simple. There is a pattern. And if you follow it, it works. However, do not get me wrong, it is hard and the coach is not going to decide for you. Circumstances are created by successful people for themselves as they claim that they can achieve their goals. If it does not, they invent it. You cannot hope that somebody will do it and you just have to carry on your daily activities. No way! You see, this is not what you're going to, it is going to be even better. Explain two advantages of being the best version of yourself and how does it relate to achieving the diamondization being the best one can be. In terms of passion, what would be your driving factor? What courage will you find that will empower you to rise on your feet even after several setbacks? Take a moment to think, what will strengthen your resolution such that you will repeat the cycle over and over again? In order to refocus this goal, this is what you do. Many, many years ago, without any money, without any resources, without a building, without any help, the first thing that we began with was a dream. We inscribed the dream, practiced the dream, pictured the dream, took the dream, walked the dream, and it is now a believable and achievable goal. Some of you, however, have given up on this pursuit. You dream for a week, then let it all go because the reality. Take a break sometimes and it's okay, it's okay to so. Step back, reevaluate the situation and approach the issue in a different way. It is also recommended not to view themselves as a loser. Simply put, one has only truly lost when he gives up moving forward. In this context, it was said by the wise man Thomas Edison, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work while you are still talking. There is still the possibility that you can be successful. Emotions should not be allowed to overtake you. We are all humans and we all have emotions, but you have got to be able to control your emotions. Control of the mind is imperative. Be goal-oriented and do not allow feelings and negative thoughts to stand in the way of achieving positive ones. If emotions and thoughts are not managed, they will manage the individual. You must have faith. Believe in yourself, your abilities, your ideas and your vision without question. When life hits you hard and you feel broken inside, you have to tell yourself, I've got to do this. This is my purpose. Talk to yourself every day, selling yourself on your potential. When that inner negative voice tells you that you can't do it, shut it down. Tell yourself, I can handle this. I can do this. I can do this. I can get through this. Stand up within yourself and declare that no matter how many failures you face, you will keep going. In spite of the numerous rejections that one will face, one will not waver in their pursuit. No matter what the obstacles are, one will overcome every single one of them. And yet, 
I challenge you to hold on to your dreams. I challenge you to dream when you're flat broke or rich or whatever the case might be. Dream on. Dream more about that vision of yours. Strive for the things that in reality are the stepping stones towards actual success.